The James Webb Space Telescope has been in operation for over two years and has already made a significant contribution to our understanding of the universe. However, he also created problems for scientists by revealing inconsistencies in our cosmological theories. The exact chronology of the formation of early star clusters into the galaxies observed today remains uncertain. While conventional cosmological theories suggested a gradual unfolding of this process within the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang, the James Webb Telescope's findings prompt a re-evaluation of these assumptions. Previously accepted theories indicated that early proto-galaxies reached adolescence one to two billion years into the universe's existence, forming dwarf galaxies that later merged into structures like the Milky Way. The cosmic dark ages, believed to be a period when the universe was enveloped in a fog of neutral hydrogen, trapping the light of the first stars and galaxies, was thought to have ended around one billion years after the Big Bang. However, the telescope's discoveries challenge this notion. Thousands of unusually bright early galaxies, some resembling our own, were unexpectedly found, prompting a reassessment of fundamental cosmological principles. Scientists faced a perplexing situation and turned to supercomputer simulations to decipher the peculiar radiance of these galaxies. The simulations considered the dynamic interplay of gas in the early universe, proposing bursty star formation as a distinctive mechanism. This process, characterized by sudden intense bursts of star formation, differs from the steady rate seen in the present-day universe. The James Webb Telescope's observations revealed high redshift galaxies that appeared more luminous than predicted by the standard cosmological model. This challenges the hierarchical growth model of galaxies and suggests that massive early galaxies can emit flashes of light through bursty star formation, aligning with the hierarchical growth model while highlighting potential flaws in the standard model. The telescope's observations unveiled several significant challenges to existing cosmological models. The James Webb Space Telescope has detected an intense glow emanating from approximately 90% of the universe's earliest galaxies, which may provide an explanation for their unexpectedly high brightness. The telescope revealed that these primordial galaxies exhibited luminous gas clouds that outshone the emerging stars within them. This discovery challenges previous assumptions about galaxy formation as these galaxies, forming as early as 500 million years after the Big Bang, appeared brighter than expected for their size and age. The discrepancy in brightness posed a challenge to established cosmological models, which suggest a gradual process of star formation in the aftermath of the Big Bang. However, the James Webb Space Telescope's observations revealing an abundance of stars in these early galaxies, prompted a re-evaluation of the existing understanding. Recent research proposes a plausible solution to this puzzle. Astronomers discovered a significant number of 12-billion-year-old galaxies, with nearly 90% surrounded by luminous gas clouds. These clouds, ignited by the light from neighboring stars, triggered intense episodes of star formation as the gas cooled. The findings, indicate that interactions with neighboring galaxies played a pivotal role in the unusual brightness of these early galaxies. Anshu Gupta, the lead author and an astrophysicist at Curtin University, explained that the explosive star formation resulting from these interactions could also account for the larger size of the early galaxies. The study leveraged data from the James Webb Space Telescope's Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, using infrared images and spectral analysis to identify extreme emission features in the gas clouds. These features indicated that the gas captured light from nearby stars before re-emitting it. Comparisons with the emission spectra of contemporary galaxies revealed similarities in only around 1%, underscoring the unique conditions of the early universe. The researchers emphasized the importance of studying these later galaxies, which are more accessible for measurement to gain crucial insights into the chemistry and conditions of the universe's formative stages. Understanding the circumstances surrounding early galaxies and stars is deemed essential for comprehending the origins of the chemical elements that constitute the universe, excluding hydrogen and helium. Extremely early galaxies, the discovery of fully formed and massive galaxies only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang challenges the previous belief that galaxies did not form in the first billion years. 
impossible. Massive Early Collision The identification of a collision of two massive galaxy clusters, forming a gigantic galaxy cluster, challenges the expected timeline for galaxy collisions in the early universe. Behemoth Black Holes Astronomers have identified the initial signs of heavy black hole seeds in the early universe, potentially shedding light on the rapid growth of supermassive black holes with masses exceeding millions or billions of times that of the Sun within the first billion years after the Big Bang. These heavy seeds, believed to weigh around 40 million times that of our Sun, are thought to form through the direct collapse of massive gas clouds, unlike conventional black holes that result from the collapse of dying massive stars. Galaxies thought to harbor these heavy black hole seeds are termed outsized black hole galaxies, OBGs. The team, led by researcher Akos Bogdan from the Center for Astrophysics Harvard and Smithsonian, made this discovery while investigating a quasar using the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory. The quasar, residing in the galaxy UHZ-1, exhibited characteristics consistent with an OBG. The data from JWST and Chandra revealed X-ray emissions, indicative of an accreting black hole associated with the quasar, further supporting the identification of the surrounding galaxy as an OBG. Comparing their findings to simulations of the rapid growth of heavy black hole seeds, the researchers found a compelling match with the best fit, suggesting a 10,000 solar mass seed growing over several hundred million years. The galaxy UHZ-1 is proposed as the first detected OBG candidate, pending spectroscopic confirmation of its redshift. The discovery addresses the challenge of explaining the existence of supermassive black holes within a mere billion years after the Big Bang. The traditional mechanisms of black hole growth, involving feeding on surrounding matter and merging with other black holes, typically require billions of years. The theory suggests that supermassive black holes may have initiated their mass accretion process from smaller black hole seeds, either light seeds born from the collapse of early stars or heavy seeds with masses around 100,000 times that of the Sun, formed through the direct collapse of massive clouds of matter. While the identification of UHZ-1 as an OBG supports the existence of heavy black hole seeds, the researchers acknowledge the limitations of their study and emphasize the need for caution in extrapolating the supermassive status of the black hole within UHZ-1. Further research is required to confirm the presence of a population of heavy seed black holes and establish their connection to supermassive black holes in the early universe. The team plans to continue their investigation with the JWST, analyzing more accreting black holes and deepening our understanding of OBGs and heavy seeding physics. The presence of giant black holes near the birth of the universe challenges expectations, leading scientists to explore the origins and rapid growth of these black holes. Missing heavy elements. Ancient galaxies were found to produce fewer heavy elements than predicted, deviating from the established relationship between star formation, mass, and chemistry. Current observations by the James Webb Telescope promise to provide complex details about the origin of the universe, potentially answering questions that currently have no definitive answers. The telescope is expected to continue its mission for a decade or more, opening up new opportunities for space exploration. Subscribe to Space Z.